hello lolas welcome back to my channel girl what make sure you hit that subscribe button by smashing that red subscribe button wait a minute click the red subscribe button press the red subscribe button yeah just subscribe whatever anyway and make sure you click the bell girl I know some of y'all like she trying too hard. I am. I'm really trying, guys. Please. Um, <laughs> click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And make sure you read the description section. Sometimes there are links in there, like, you know, get your merch. And um, be a part of the chatterbox. Cha 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 cha. And um, what else be in there? Sometimes it'd be eBay links. Girl, you never know. But anyway, so today I'm here with baby Nigel Poo. Nigel Poo is the Willow Awake by Claire Teller, which is www.clairetellerdolls.com. Let me find out on her plug. She better pay this influencer. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, for real. Uh, <laughs> But seriously, um, he is a prototype. He's prototype number three of a blank kit edition of 30. So anyway, that ain't my point of this video. So I want y'all to see him. Look at him up close. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. He's so treat. Okay, so I'm basically about to get him changed again. Yes, girl. He is my... What they say? They be saying now? He the GOAT? I be like, at first when somebody called saying you a goat, I was like, your mama? Like, but then I found out the goat me, like, you like a big to do. Like, you, you, you know, you the shits nicks or something. Like, I was like, because the first time it was like, Serena is the goat. I was like, oh no, you didn't. You know, I was like, ready. <laughs> child let me stop because honey if you did they flip this camera around right now with this little head scarf i got on my head child oh child they might get real scared but anyway seriously seriously though let me make sure i don't put too much light on him because i don't want to wash his color out but i want to get over here can i steal some of your shine nigel so i want to get over here and get him dressed and i don't know what it is about me Y'all, y'all gonna have to forgive me. My room is so dark, and I, I've, I've got some special clothing and stuff in my bedroom drawers that's just designated for my some of my very special babies, and I be pulling stuff out in the dark. And I swore that this outfit had yellow in it, but it did not. I've had this outfit for so long, guys. Um, it's Dream Big, little one. Um, it's a Koala Baby Organic Newborn Size. I got it from uh, Babies of <laughs> Babies of Russ when it, you know when that was a thing. Um. Anyway, so that was, it's been years, and then I had these little socks, child. I was like, cause I want him to wear these little socks. I love these socks on him, so I wanted to put him. So I went searching, digging in my closet for this look something to match with this and I swore that these ducks was yellow but y'all know I was supposed to wear glasses don't judge me but when I got out to the day I was like you still gonna wear it and I found him a pacifier see I was I was sure he was gonna be real coordinated but that didn't happen so I saw a little post somebody talking about role play people always talking about role play people always judging us even us we always judging us and so people was like, why even fake feed the baby? Why even, why are you rocking the baby? Sometimes I get comments like, oh my God, and you a black woman. So black people not supposed to have hobbies? Oh, okay. And supposedly this was from another black person. And they were like, and you a black woman playing with dolls like that, a grown woman, like, Oh my God, you are embarrassing us. I don't even know you, chick. So, <laughs> you can get your whole life somewhere else. And apparently, you ain't got one if you sit and watch the stuff that you don't like. Because, yeah. So, you know, I, I'm kind of over it. We actually, a lot of times, okay. I'm, I know some of y'all are probably going to cry. This is going to be a moment like when you found out that Santa Claus wasn't real and the Tooth Fairy wasn't real. But I just want to let you guys know. I'm going to put this in y'all ear. 
most of us that actually bottle feed and sit and rock the babies and talk to the babies and all that stuff um we only do it on camera like i never be like oh you know what i think nigel's hungry don't I'm, i don't mean to offend some of you guys that might do it but i'm just telling you i'm one of them that don't oh my god i think nigel is hungry let me go fix him a bottle and warm it up and then i go and get him and, and give him a bottle and just imagine him gulping the bottle i don't do that i don't i mean it's nothing wrong with it if that's what you do and you enjoy watching them fake feed that's fine not judging i'm just saying for the people that act like we do this all day long like we don't go and work a whole full nine to five like we don't have real children or some people don't have children but pets and other things husbands and stuff you know i ain't got one of those but we ain't gonna talk about that but you know got other things to tend to other than our dog it's our hobby we have fun when we come on camera we want them to look you don't want people to see them in a real light. You know, maybe possibly fool a couple people for reaction. So, yes, we do things that you would do with a real baby for entertainment purposes. Also, because it look good. Girl, y'all know he be looking good when he be taking his bottle on camera and he be making that <sighs> noises that we be playing in the background for y'all. <sighs> y'all be getting on my nerves. So, you know, it's not like I'm telling y'all, most of the YouTubers, and some of them even lie and be like, yeah, sometimes I just get my baby and I just sit and I get on a bottle. Girl, you do not. Stop lying. We do it. It's entertainment. It's just like TV. If you're going to judge us like that and say, why are they rocking babies? Why are they this? Okay. Then why do when we watch our movies that people actually get shot, use ketchup for blood, fall out, pass out, foam out the mouth, just to say, cut and jump up. Entertainment. One word. Get your whole life. Some of y'all really need one if you're spending that much time judging what people do. Now, there's some things that I, you know, I will say that I don't want to even role play on camera because of, you know, I don't give my babies real formula to each his own who do. But I don't do that. The type of dolls that I collect, the money that I spend for them, I can't afford to be ruining them for y'all entertainment purposes. And so I don't I do not do that. And I also, you know, y'all know me. I got the trigger, trigger, the trigger happy uh, uh, cell finger. And when I like to be, get rid of some of my babies, I don't want to do nothing like that. I don't put real poop on them or real chocolate or whatever people be using um putting or whatever for role play there's some things i don't do um i may um imply that i am breastfeeding but i don't actually slap out a uh karubi and put it in the in in and you know i don't actually do it um because you know some things is just not good to do and on or off camera because you kind of take the value down off of your dog so i don't do those things but you know to each his own if that's what you want to do you know do you but i'm just saying we just saying oh my god people <laughs> i'm just saying isn't he lovely for those that is expecting, um, because I know uh new kits just got sold, blank kits. I know I've said this a thousand times, but he has one one open foot. The rest look like they're open because I was just about to say, girl, he got one separate, his foot got um separate toes on one foot. That's a lie. It's one toe separate on there. It just looked like it. He um yeah, and he has this semi closed fist and he has his open hands. He is just a lovely baby, right? Yes, he is gorgeous. He is gorgeous, he has beautiful ears. Look at those little ears, he ain't so floppy. And he's poured in all one piece and he looks amazing on his back, on his front. Y'all know he gotta get this thumb. He ain't gonna be on him for a second cause I gotta get him dressed. But I mean, just posable in so many different little ways. His um 
although he's super soft he's durable I don't worry about him um I don't worry about his head falling off or nothing like that <laughs> um I actually like the soft silicone more than I do the firm silicone I feel like it's it's actually more easy to um you know move around and not worry about anything tearing because it's flexible so you can flex <laughs> you know what i mean y'all know i i ain't even had coffee this morning so y'all know i'm on something oh boy but anyway let's get him dressed child this pamper he done had on for six months i guess you know, we don't quite treat them like real babies because had him been a real baby, him would have a whole rashy poo, wouldn't he? A whole rashy poo. And that's another thing. We'd be like, we treat them like real babies. We probably mean, most of us mean we handle them like real babies, like gentle when we say that. We don't mean that we, we send them to daycare. Um, we get up every two hours and feed them. We change their, their diaper every five minutes. We're... Most of these people, like, I have talked to so many women in the community. I have met so many women in the community. These women are highly intelligent. Um, we got doctors. We got attorneys. We got psychiatrists. We got some of every type of, you know, police officers, detectives, retired detectives, retired nurses, nurses, you know, all this stuff. A lot of nurses, a lot of people in the medical field actually collect these dolls. I was amazed at that. I found that that is like the number one profession. Um, strip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, strike that from the record. But we do, we do have those though. <laughs> but we have so many, you know, people that actually are very highly professional and well-educated um, collecting these babies uh, these baby dolls so it's not like a whole bunch of crazy people you know role play is never hurt nobody you know everybody want to define what what is too far what is not far enough what what is considered role play what is not role play you know the moment you shop for a doll <laughs> and you buy them baby clothes out of the baby section and you buy them a crib, a bouncer, or whatever fancy thing that you're sitting your baby in. Yeah, that's a form of role play. Um, it's a doll. It doesn't need that. How about you just keep it in box? Put it on a shelf, you know? Um, so for those that think that their role play is more sophisticated than others, um, newsflash, you're role playing too. Maybe you're just not a good actor or you don't know how to do it. So it's, I'm just saying, I'm just being silly when I say that. I'm not, like I said, whatever you collect your babies for, rather it is to sit them on the shelf. Because I've seen some beautiful little shelves with some babies sitting there. I thought, oh my God, that's so gorgeous. I need one of them because my collection is growing too much. Um, it is totally up to you. Like, totally, dude. It is so up to you. Like, because... You spend all your money, or your man money, or your girlfriend money, or whoever money, and you spend your money or your good credit. Girl, I wish I had good credit like Becky. But um, you spend that to get these dolls. Whatever you, however you choose to enjoy them, rather it's just snapping pictures of them. Just you know, some people don't role play. Some people, well, I ain't gonna say role play. Some people don't you know, do like active role playing with bottle feedings and, you know, um, talking to their babies or changing their diapers. Some people don't even care if their babies wear diapers. They just want to take photos of them. Some of them don't even take photos of them. There's private collectors that just like to get them, put them in their curio cabinet. Girl, like they're a porcelain doll. I wish I would. Not this kind of money. See, that's when you know when you ain't really got it like that. Because see, to those people that really got money, Dropping 10, 15, 20 thousand dollars ain't nothing to them. It's like, child, throw that thing in the cabinet. Let me look at it when I pass by every now and then. When I'm on my way to um my elevator to the next floor. But you know, 
but for people like me who have to struggle and do all types of things to get my babies listen honey i'll be like look i need to see my money i'm finna play with my money i need to hey sugar you just shut your money money you know when i see him i see money no i'm just kidding okay i'm doing too much in this video i'm sure oh and i'm late child we done made a whole video i know y'all probably tired of me in these long videos all right let me get him dressed I was going to tell y'all a secret, but I can't even tell y'all now because it done took too long. And I'm not going to get into that because y'all know y'all nosy. And when I tell, when I spill my tea, I like to spill it all away. Just empty the whole glass. I don't want to leave y'all half full. So let's get this boy on his socks. We'll check him out on his Instagram for his photos because y'all know they're coming. I wish I had a filter to turn that yellow green. I like oh I got my my Evie um she got her original limbs back guys if y'all have not checked her out on Instagram baby she is a whole princess now I am so happy I'm so thrilled honey because those over art limbs was not the business on her so I'm I'm ecstatic and I just want to thank that collect the collector for switching out with me we switched back the original limbs and that was amazing for me because I was just trying to sell that baby so bad because I was like, I just can't connect with these limbs. So, yeah. So, I'm, I'm ecstatic. And he had a pacifier child. Let me see. Oh, well, we already late. Might as well go on and get, get the pacifier and give it to him so y'all can see what that look like. Because some of y'all lazy. Y'all ain't going to go to my Instagram. I done hinted to y'all a thousand times. Telling y'all, y'all better be on my Instagram. Y'all might miss something one day. One day, y'all might miss something. I know y'all don't be liking to miss nothing on, on, on nowhere. So, I miss sitting in front of the camera, y'all. I'm going to come live tonight. I'm going to find me an old, old nasty wig to put on. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm going to find me a, a, a wig to put on for y'all. Because I can't be looking like Baby Torch in the video no more. I'm going to call that already about my hair. I can't play with y'all no more. Because y'all finna be talking about me. Y'all going to talk about the wig though. But that's okay. I'm coming anyway. I'm going to see y'all tonight. Because tonight I'll be more relaxed. I'll be done with all my heavy work. This last two days be intense at work. Look at that baby. He's so cute. I don't care what y'all say baby. Y'all get, listen, honey, somebody was like, ooh, child of willow eyes is so spaced out and so far out. Girl, listen, my baby look like a whole snack. Y'all can't, y'all can't even with him. Look, look at him. It be so funny when people say, make little comments, though, about um kids and you know how, you know, some of us collect the kids because they look like our kids and stuff. And when y'all be like, ooh, that kid's so ugly, I be like, Girl, you talk about my baby. I should snatch your whole wig off. But <laughs> but I'm just kidding. Um, we all do it, honey, because I be looking at some of y'all like, and you bought that and you thought that was cute. Uh, okay, I'm going to give you a heart just because you need some love. She needs some love because that whole thing is a whole hot mess. But anyway, we're not going to do all that today. Like I said, y'all don't need to be judging. Be judge free. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. I know I'm probably going to get some thumbs downs, but that's okay too. I appreciate you guys for stopping by and taking the time to press that button. All right, let's say it. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Ride with us if it's your birthday. Okay, no, it's not. Okay, bye, bye. Okay, bye, bye, bye.